Thank you for watching this video. Uh, this video will show you how to fix uh, common mistakes uh, deals with undeposited funds account. Uh, I've done a separate video in detail understanding undeposited funds account. So you may want to check it out first. Uh, so this video will focus on uh, fixing some common mistakes. Okay, so uh, let's look at the uh, reports in here. One report. Let's look at the balance sheet here. And it's, it's $400 in here, undeposited funds. It's just sitting in there. And uh, uh, the theory behind on the undeposited funds is well, you, you create invoice and you select undeposited funds. Uh, and then once you receive the payment, uh, you, it will move from here, reduce the AR balance, and it will move to undeposited funds. And then you move from undeposited funds to your bank account. Okay. So if you click, click this account, you will see all kinds of in and out type. And uh, if everything moved from, if you move from undeposited funds to your, your bank account, the balance would be zero. It's like an in, transit account in and out type. If you properly handle it, uh, the balance would be uh, zero uh, at uh, one point once, once you completely uh, transfer uh, uh, the money from your undeposited funds to your, your bank account. So in this case, there is a $400 sitting in here. Uh, and uh, uh, we don't know how to handle this one now, okay? So let's go to one account here. So if you go in here from uh, this one and go to bank deposit, so you will see this $400 in here, okay? So this tells you, you created sales receipt on 828, for two hundred dollars for one customer, sales receipt another sales receipt two hundred dollars on same day uh, for another customer, and this happened like eight twenty eight. So this was a long time ago. Today is October second, uh, and sales receipt was created a uh, long time ago. Normally, if you handle this properly within a week or so, uh, you know this should be all clear. Uh, it's it's a just like clearing account, and uh, all you have to do is uh, deposit this money to your bank account and handle it properly. Okay, so now the, let's look at the case in here. It's four hundred dollars, and first case is uh, uh, you have uh, you do uh, uh, bank download. So in this case right here, bank download, and eight twenty eight is right here, and. Uh, uh, and it happens to be two customers, but they decided, uh, well, uh, this is just, uh, I'm just going to add this. Okay. So I'm just going to add this. Okay. So adding it, it, uh, it increased your bank balance, but uh, it didn't clear your undeposited funds account. So if I refresh this, still it's $400, but you added your bank account, add your bank account. And you reconcile the bank account. Well, the bank account is fine, uh, but this money is still sitting in here. So that means when you added this $400 to bank account, you basically added to uh, income account. So your income account for $400 is 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 duplicated now. So you have duplicate uh, $400 income. Uh, so now, how to fix it now? So th that's one way. That's co one common uh, mistake, and. Uh, Let's check this one out. It's in here, someplace right here. Undo this one. Now it's in QuickBooks again. So this is the four hundred dollars. Uh, so if you are, if you have already created sales receipt, and uh, the money is sitting in undeposited funds, uh, your job is to match it here, not add it. So that's one common mistake, and the other common mistake uh, people make is uh, let's say this one here. All right, these two, 828, 828, and uh, they they create another sales receipt. Okay, let's say uh, Adam Smith, uh, or it could be same date or different date.
say two hundred dollars Okay, so now if you go to uh, refresh your bank account or your ba balance sheet, so now you have eight hundred dollars, and uh, you went to bank deposit in here and you want to try to uh, try to clear a uh, credit card right here. Let's say you you wanted to clear this and. You, you ignore these two because you already created a sales sheet for you know uh, for these two clients and you create another one here and I have duplicate here and normally you just save this save and click and close and you went back to your your uh, banking center right here and you just added this one here okay uh, so now you have uh, duplicate income for the same thing and uh, you're this one is still have four hundred dollar balance here. Four hundred dollar balance in here. As you can see here, on eight twenty eight in here, sales receipt. Bobby Smith, you have twice, and Adam Anderson, different sales receipt number. Then you have another two hundred in here. Uh, Adam Smith, Adam Smith, uh, 200 twice here. Okay, so uh, now uh, the way to fix it, how to fix it now. Okay, so you could do a couple of things. Uh, since let's go to a customer account one more time. As you can see here, you have two invoices, two sales receipt for the same job, and uh, uh, either you can delete one. Let's just delete. You want the one you want to delete is still sitting on your bank deposit, uh, undeposited funds account. If you just select and delete, then you can do it. There's not, not nothing to de delete in here. So what you have to do is click this one. Let's try one more time. So from here, go to bank deposit. And so you realize you create a sales receipt uh, twice for these two customers. So click this one under more, delete. That's done. And you got to do the same thing for this guy. More, delete. Now, uh, this uh, deposit section it's uh, empty. There's nothing, nothing there. Uh, so if you go to uh, your balance sheet here, refresh it. It's gone now. It's, it's zero now. So that's how you have to fix uh, uh, common mistakes, you know, uh, and it's. This happens to be just one or you know simple case, but uh, hey, how about uh, you know it's been sitting there for uh, six months or twelve months, and uh, there's no way going by going back and identify each sales receipt by customer now. Okay, let's just say this one is balance is ten thousand dollars. What are you gonna do now? Uh, and at that point, you have to make a tough decision. Uh, spend some time and analyze all uh, uh, sales receipt, all income account. You need to go to the uh, your uh, profit and loss statement. Profit and loss. 
right here and figure out analyze all these uh, sales income account okay so normally whenever you have uh, undeposited funds account now well, this is the common thing undeposited funds account and you have balance in there and uh, and you have reconciled your bank account the mystery now is uh, you have duplicated your, uh, uh, your income so your income is overstated and uh, you know uh, and uh, you still have money sitting in uh, your undeposited funds account so if you let's say you have uh, ten thousand dollars sitting in here and you have reconciled these two bank accounts and uh, uh, you know the way to fix that is you have overstated your income so you have to write a zone entry uh, and uh, zone, we have to do two things if you click it here one's only not going to fix it so what you have to do is uh, uh, first you have to make a huge decision uh, depending on the amount so uh, click this so you, you will see a list of all undeposited funds still not move to your bank account okay so you have to click all those and just make one deposit okay let's say it's ten thousand dollars I'm just gonna create one sales to seed here and let's say this is this goes back a long way way old Okay, so now you have ten thousand dollars, and uh, uh, in this case, I just wrote one sales receipt. So let's say this is could be one, or it's not one. It could be a hundred sales receipt uh, because you did this completely uh, wrong way. And so what you have to do now is go go to uh, your uh, bank deposit, and you have to clear this. Uh, you have to do it like a, depends when you want to do it let's say I want to do it like end of September and because you haven't reconciled end of September you have reconciled all the way through August uh, so all the way through August uh, bank accounts correct let's say September oh sorry this is October Okay, so ten thousand seven close. You can you can select one account here. It could be uh, this account, or you don't know, uh, or just a clearing account. In this case, you can just create if you want. If you don't want to sell that money in uh, this account, you can just create a clearing account. Hope you don't have to go through this, but you know, if it's a big mistake and it's just sitting in there, that's how uh, you will need to fix it. And you got to get proper consultation with your accountant, of course. Uh, you know, I'm not advising anything. So save and close. Okay, so now if you go to the balance it again, refresh it. So now you have a uh, $10,000 in here. This, this doesn't mean anything. So you ought to uh, clear this one. Uh, to do that, you just write a zone entry in here. So the credit is your clearing bank account. So this is like extreme case, you know. Uh, it, you should try to go through all these sales receipt and income uh, income account and figure out uh, where it went wrong and you try to fix it one by one if possible but if that's impossible uh, this is what uh, you may have uh, end, end up doing it and the, this 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 is the income account right 
right now it's gone and uh, so that was the case uh, when uh, uh, income was uh, overstated was duplicated and you reconcile the bank account everything was good and you also looked at the other balance in account and there's nothing sitting in there has to do with undeposited funds and now it's undeposited funds uh, it's zero balance clearing account is zero balance and you have reconciled these two bank accounts and your account civil balance is that you looked at your aging reports AR aging and so this one looks good uh, so that's how you have to do it it's no fun but that's the way it is that's why it's very important uh, fixing this uh, right away and get some consultation with your uh, right people and fixing it so thank you for watching this video and uh, you can uh, subscribe our YouTube channels we have two channels and also you can like us on Facebook thank you again thanks so much for listening